Okay, I just want to make a few comments about port headlock. First of all, I just want to say I don't think it's safe. Last night, I hung out in this library park a lot. I noticed they turned the internet off. I don't know what time. I think I had it run. I was using the internet until about midnight, and then I fell asleep. Um, and then it seemed to kick on maybe at 7 a.m., because that's when I started it up again. Uh, but yeah, I, I tried using the internet at like 2 in the morning, and then at like at 4 in the morning. At 4 in the morning, I was uh, startled awake by a cop. I've never, in, in all my traveling since December 24th till now, it's what, almost February 24th or so, I've, I've never been, uh, like, like a cop never just approached me, approached my car before, and this is the first last night at 4 a.m. And he's just like, yeah, it's a little unusual, and we've had some break-ins, and, and then I, I don't know, I just asked, I was, I was kind of, as soon as I heard a car, I woke, I was woken up anyway, and I had my computer on me, and I just kind of said I was using the internet, but I think it got shut off, because the internet was not even registering, say, between midnight and seven. And that right there, with the internet being shut off, is an indicator to me that there's trouble. When the library thinks they need to cut off the internet, that is a lockdown to me. That is a strong sign. There's a lot of cities that don't do that. But the ones like Mount Vernon does it, then that is a terrible city. And now Port Hatlock or Irondale, whatever they want to call themselves, does it too. Cop shows up at 4 a.m., knocks on my window, and I, he asks for my ID. Um, he, he, he wasn't specific about the, you know anywhere getting robbed, but whatever. You know, I'm glad he's out there being um, just taking the a little initiative and uh, being uh, whatever you, the word is vigilant. That's great. Um, it, it it doesn't give me much confidence in in the activity that's going on around here. Um, yeah, that, that, that kind of tells me that there's trouble. I mean, just right next to this library, there's there's a big trailer court. And then next to the trailer court, there's people living in their campers, and it's not even a campsite. Um, and then right next to that trailer court is a uh, marijuana shop. A green cross is in the front. And, and, and there's two green crosses in this city alone. And maybe it's a county. I, I'm not sure. This is called the county library. I'm not sure if it's a city cop or a county cop who stopped me. At 2,000 people, I'd expect it to be city. Either way, I was stopped by the cop. He took the initiative. It's the first time. And it looks like trouble here. In the library all day when I hung out, there were some slightly seedy people, mostly white people, uh, just slightly seedy. I wasn't on edge, not like I was in Mount Vernon. But I was told there was a rash of burglaries, and I was like, okay, sure. You know, it made me a little nervous. I, when I went to the grocery store down the streets, or I forget the name, Stop or something, uh, like, uh, I was given weird looks. I mean, I hope I don't look like any of the criminals. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of, people seem like, they, they give you, like, uh, suspicious looks. It's, it's weird. Um, but... Uh, I went on a bicycle ride today. I'm all wet. I was caught in the rain. That's why I'm kind of making this video. Uh, as I was going down the road, I found a, a cash register drawer sitting in the ditch with a little change thing next to it. Now, I uh, made a video, little video of that, 30 seconds, just to capture it. I, I had to stop and turn this on a downhill. I had to stop and turn around and and grab it. I'll, I'll have it later in this video. I'll, I'll put a um, time where it's at. But I mean, you, I have never seen a cash register drawer in a ditch. Okay, this looks like it was maybe a recent robbery. So that's that's trouble. Uh, that was heading towards the the Fort Flagler State Park, um, and in between the Fort Flagler State Park is a Navy base. Um, and they, I don't know if they're heading to a Navy base or not. But it's it's uh there's a little suspicious activity around here. There's there's na kind of nasty air pollution. There's there's uh, like an air of, of tenseness. I mean, with the police stopping me and they're shutting down the internet at the library at night. 
it's well lit at night in the library, but uh, there's a trailer park next next door, so what do you do? So, um, I, I'm not too impressed with this with this city. I mean, even the houses, they don't look like they care for themselves. There's a lot of people who, who are uh, hoarding things. There's mattresses in the front of their yards and junk and crap. Uh, a lot of burning of trash, the way it looks. I've seen open fires. Uh, it could be because it's county land, people think they can do whatever they want. But, yeah, this, this port, headlock, Irondale, whatever they want to call themselves, it's, it's, uh, it's a unique, unique area and you have to, you have to be a little more vigilant security, uh, on the security side. Uh, let the cops do what they gotta do because it's, it's, uh, it's a little underhanded here. Welcome to Port Headlock. As you can see there is a cash register drawer with a change drawer over there. I'm just going to make a quick recording of it before this car gets too loud. And you can see I'm just going down the road. I suspect somebody tossed it out their window. <coughs> Yeah, just had to kick it over there. Not sure if it got broken or what. Not sure where the register came from. But I think it's clear that somebody was uh, took it and then dumped it. Jefferson County Indian Island Park. Not allowed to do a lot of things. No feces. So it's gonna take you down to like a, it looks like a strip of land down there. On the water it's a lagoon. And it's raining out right now. So you got a little darker sky. But yeah, I just thought I'd pan around for this. Speed limit 15. Navy fence is right there. 